I'm working on the zombie movie. I don't know. <laughs> In his self, you know, defacing, deprecating way. And it's like, eh, you know, I want you to play like one of the main parts and maybe you could read it, you know, very nonchalant. I was like, Doy, yeah, of course I want to read it. And yes, of course I want to be in it. Dead Don't Die takes place in Centerville, a small town, a small rural town um, with a police department of three. And um, a zombie, zombie apocalypse comes to town. Bill's character and Adam's characters are, you know, out, out there trying to figure stuff out. And um, all these, you know, characters that live in this town are um, trying to deal with the situation and what's going on and um, fighting for their lives and losing, basically. It sounds really <laughs> apocalyptic, <laughs> but it's a zombie apocalypse. I think what's nice about my character, Mindy, is she is actually really the one character that you see that's really being affected by it, I think, in a not so like wink wink way. You know, she's like really in it. And when I first initially sat down with Jim to read through the script, you know, he could tell I was gonna start with like, well, she's not a very strong woman. He's like, Chloe, there's a lot of really strong women in the movie. You're the trope, you're the screen queen. And so I was like, okay, I can I can take one for the team. I mean, I think this is almost one of the most beautiful parts of the country, and I know Jim does too. He has a home up here, and actually a lot of the cast does, and because um, we're all like New Yorkers, so that proximity, you know, um, lends itself to that. And it's just, I mean, the scope when you look around and the vegetation and everything, it's, it's so beautiful to be here. Bill Murray plays Chief Robertson, and um, he's about to retire. And he's just this like lovable, affable Bill Murray, you know, guy. <laughs> he just is, he exudes this. And he also has that very sensitive side and that warmth that, that he does so well that's also embedded with humor and pathos and so much. He's so like multi-layered as an actor. It's so amazing to watch him that he could have so much going on at one time. Just like, I mean, he's such a star, even just like being with him on set. For me, Jim is like, he's a really seminal part of like my, you know, love for film and and being exposed to different kind of films. It really opened up a whole, you know, thing for me. And um, and I was in Broken Flowers and we did a short film together called Ten Minutes Older. And um, I'm just watching him and his process and and you know, um, his respect for the actors and the camera and Fred Elms are insanely talented DP and everybody else on the crew and just like how much he loves making movies and how excited he is about the images and performances and you know he he just knows what he wants and um, he's very funny yeah I mean for me it's like an all-star you know um, Carol Kane who um, I worked with a long time ago Steve Buscemi also worked with um, Iggy Pop um, Selena Gomez, I mean, you know, it kind of runs the gamut. <laughs> Rosie Perez, I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool cast. I'm excited to be a part of it.